Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box and a remote that we received from Arno Group. It is called Arno March 12. And also we received the Retac Mini One remote. It's a phenomenal remote without wasting your time. Let's just get into it and show you what these two can do for us. So first you can see that the Retac Mini One remote is so nicely packaged as all the little stickers that you really need to know about this remote and going all the way around that you can see it all. And once we take everything out of it and you can see it right now just unboxing the parts that are inside of this as the remote itself also comes with a little card that is a thank you little paper from the retag also comes with a charger this is a really cool little remote again you can see it right now that has all the full function keys in the front it has the navigations on the top and also have a little touchpad in the middle so this way you can move the mouse back and forth and if you look on the top part of it you do have two buttons right and left this is made for certain games if you want to play this will really help you out and in the back it looks like that it is made of leather but it is not and has a little place so you can hide the dongle that's where you need to grab it hook it up to your windows mac your linux pc or you want to hook it up to the android this will work perfectly we're going to put this aside let's go into the box itself you can see it such a nice way designed it's very simple it's indicated in the front that this is march 12 and we're going in the back has a lot of information it does talk about the cpu the gpu the ram the storage everything is there again this is a 64 bit and once we open the box itself you can see that the March 12 box is sitting in the front we will take that out and inside of it is the IR remote it's very functional remote again it is made just so you can maneuver back and forth if you want to go inside of Cody this remote will take care of you can see in the back now that this is where you're going to put two AAA batteries in order to take advantage of it one thing batteries not included inside of the box second you can see that the IR is on a top all right so we're going to put the remote on a side the second thing that comes with this is the HDMI cable which is 2.0 also comes with a a user manual just go into the box itself you can see it's so nicely designed first you can see in the front panel that you can see the time once we turn it on and then on the right side of the it has the IR sensor going on the right side of it it has a full SD card slot which can read up to 128 gigabyte going in the back from the left hand side you have two USB 2.0 ports right beside that you have the HDMI 2.0 and then LAN connection which is a gigabit and then you have the AV connection which you can connect to the older type of TV right beside that you do have the optical audio so you can hook it up to your stereo and take advantage of the surround system right beside that you have the DC connection which is 5 volt and then you have the AC Wi-Fi antenna which is really nicely created going on the other side there's nothing there but when you flip it upside down you do have a few holes on both sides so the box can breed and also have four little legs so it can stand up make sure you place this on a flat surface in order for this box not to heat up and then also you have an, a sticker in the bottom that does indicate that this is m1264 bit all right so let's just get disconnected so first connect your air mouse dongle in this case i'm going to connect the retax mini one dongle and then connect your hdmi and then connect your power so while doing this in the front you will see that the time will come on you should see the arno box android logo coming up first and then it will change to arno box march 12 64 bit and you can see that the nu is changing color it's very beautiful how they have put this together and as soon as it goes in it's going to give you two launchers so the first one that we're going to select is going to be code red so I have already set this up again you have to set it up so once it comes up you can see that the code red launcher is very nice again you can get this launcher for any other boxes it does cost a little bit but you can get it from Google Play Store but for the meantime we are on March 12 so this is the launcher that you get so it has all the information there 
You can see it that it says my videos, my picture, my music, edit feeds, also edit layout. You can add other things onto this. We do have other videos for this. So we will be placing a link in the bottom where you can view that video and learn how you can do more with this launcher. And you see it says settings, help, and you're right now it's my YouTube has been set up on this and at the bottom left hand side you do have the app so if you click on it you're going to see all the apps that are pre-installed all right so let's start the testing part so first thing we're going to test is going to be the speed test so let's launch it now we have already done some testing and we will go through it all right so when we did the first test we got 298 and then when we did a second time we got 323 megabits per second once we went to the Wi-Fi again it is a gigabit but we were running some other things and we had some friends are over that they were doing their own videos. We got about 199, which was still really good for the download. And then we did it second time. We got 193. It's still really good. So we will get out of this. And the next thing we will go is going to be Antutu benchmark. So we have already ran this and you can see that the number that we got was it was 34021. It's a very good number for this box. And we will go more. We will show you more things in detail. So when we went to the Geekbench, is a lot of things are very accurate. You can see the Android version, the CPU speed, the memory, everything is here. But once we go into history, because we already run it, you can see that the single core that we got was 476, but the multi-core we got 1577, which is very good for this box. All right, so we will get out of this too. Let's go into CPU Z. Now here is everything that you need to know and yes this is octo core box so you can see it that right on the top that this is arm cortex a53 running on 2.02 gigahertz but since this is s912 chipset it is on octo core you can see it that it is eight cores and the ones that are running and the ones that are sleeping are all here right now they're all running the minimum that is running is 100 megabits i guess that's the one that is sleeping right now but anything that is running under a thousand is running right now and we go under gpu itself you can see the gpu load is only three percent and if you look under gpu rendering it is molly ta20 which is running the direct x11 fl9-3 this is equivalent to the DirectX 11.1, but it is not the exact thing. I have to let you know that since this is running, it is a quad core GPU, but since this is on another level, phenomenal when you want to play your 2D or 3D video on MPEG 4, this will just blow it away. This will bring in the HDR onto a different level. So it is on 10 bit, yes, but it is going to run your 4K 60 Hertz by heart. All right, so let's go under device. And once we go under device, you can see that the manufacturer is AM Logic and the brand is Arnobox. The board is M12 or March 12. Everything else is pretty accurate here. When we go under system, the Android version on this is OS 6.0.1, which is Marshmallow. And we go on down that the build number, the security level is there too. The build ID is properly set up there too. Now we can see the date, 2016. It is September 24th. We go down, this is what everybody's asking for. Root access is yes, so which is perfect. That's what we wanna know. And also the app time. All right, so we will get out of that. We will try to launch our old 1080p video. You can see how quick it start loading and there is no delay to it. It automatically just start playing it for you. No shutter, no stops, automatically just goes in. You can see right now that this is 1080p, AAC 2.0 and looks really good. So we will get out of this. Let's go into the 4K video. So we will play it. Now this has been filmed or should I say captured in Niagara Falls on Canadian site. And you can see in the bottom that this is 4K AAC 2.0. And you can see it is such a nicely playing. There's no shutter, nothing on this. It looks beautiful. All right, so we will get out of this too. All right, so this was Cody and we will just exit out. 
they do have a app there you can play games and everything with this so there are some little other things that i just want to cover the new launcher so they have added two launchers one is the regular code red launcher and if you press home you should see another launcher there it's called media box launcher so when we select it takes a couple of seconds and this is what you see again the icons are very big which a lot of people likes it does have a little clear cache you can see the time on the top the date also on the other side of it you can see that how you connect it and the bottom you do have some shortcuts that are there and that's about it all right so this was our take on arno box march 12th i will be providing all the links where you can order the box from and also where you can get the remote from at the bottom of this video at the meantime i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment on the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is exitex.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter vine instagram and other social networking places and thank you